Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to find an equation of a line in the slope-intercept form that's perpendicular to a given line and it has to pass the point. So here we go. I'm going to write down the equation right here for you guys. Let's say we are going to find the equation of the line right? that is, and let's see, that is, and of course we say we want perpendicular, so I will put that down and I will spell it out for you guys. Perpendicular to, let's say we have y equals negative two thirds x plus one, and it has to pass, and I should say passing because I said that is, so I just say passing the point four comma negative seven, right? So, all right. So because you see that we have a given point, the four comma negative seven, I'm going to say this is going to be x1, y1. No, just keep that in mind. Now, whenever we're trying to find an equation of a line, keep in mind, we always need to get the slope first. To get the slope, well, remember, this is just a given line. We have what? We have y is equal to negative two thirds x plus one. Hmm, yes, I believe so. And you see the slope is what? The slope is negative two thirds. That's not what you want to use though, because we are trying to find a line that's perpendicular to this. So we have to get the perpendicular slope. And it's actually not so bad to do it. I'll just write this down. And perpendicular, this is the notation from geometry, the upside down T stands for perpendicular. All we have to do is look at the original and do the opposite sign and the reciprocal. So the end perpendicular is just going to be Original is negative, so now it will be positive. And you do the reciprocal of the two over three, so you get three over two. So that's what we have. Now right here, I'm going to say we are going to use, use what? You know it, our favorite form, which is the point slope form, right? So y minus y1, that's equal to m perpendicular times x minus x1. So this is the form that we are going to use. Now, let's just plug in numbers. So here we have y minus y1 is what? Negative seven, put that down. And then that's equal to, the slope is what? Three over two times x minus four. So just like that, right? Hmm, what do we do next? Of course, do the usual thing. So this is x minus, so this is y minus negative seven. So we have y plus seven, and that's equal to, well, we have two, so we have three over two, so we are going to distribute, so we get three over two x, and then three over two times negative four, it's going to be negative, and then three over two times four, of course, two cancel out, two goes into two once, two goes into four twice, and two times uh, three, which is six, so you have the three over two x minus six, and that was a y plus seven. All right, so what do we do? Of course, just minus seven on both sides, so that way they cancel. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how this is going to turn out, I don't know how this is going to turn out to be, but I will say y is equal to three over two x minus 13. So this right here is going to be the answer. Okay, did I do anything wrong? Let's see. Oh yes, that I got it. And it's really, really nice, Steve. Oh, that, that, oh man. Oh, that's an equal sign. That, that's an equal sign here. And oh, what the heck did I do? <laughs> oh, but it lined up. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh, this is a lot of fun. This is way too much fun. All right, nice. I'm very happy about it.